Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how to write VHDL code simulate with test bench synthesis for 4-bit ALU for add, subtract, and NAD or XOR and XNOR operation. So first of all, uh, to write the VHDL code, we need the IIC Design Suite 14.7 Xilinx software. Okay, so I'm going to use the 14.7 version suit. And uh, second thing is, uh, what is exactly first of all the ALU? ALU is the arithmetic logic unit. So we are going to write the 4-bit ALU. So we have two inputs for bar upon which we are going to perform the different arithmetic and logical operations. Arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction and logical operations like AND, NOR, XOR, NOT, these are the operations. So for 4-bit ALU we have two inputs A and B both are 4-bit again output is also Y which is also 4-bit and then there is a one more input is there that is the select input. So select inputs are necessary uh, so that we can select the one of the operation. Uh, out of 16 operation uh, to perform on A and B. For example, if your select line is 0000, suppose for 000 select line we have the operation, we have the operation A plus B. Again, if your select line is 001, we have assigned the operation A minus B like that. So uh, we can we have got 16 combination and we have got the 16 different arithmetic and logic operations uh, so in short 4 bit L you perform your 16 uh, logical and arithmetic operations uh, by selecting the select line so now we have to write this code in the uh, VHDL language that is hardware descriptive language which is used for the VLSI designing purpose and now we are going to see how to write this program in VHDL code so first we will see the program so here you can see here is the LU program I have already written that so in every VHDL program there are three main parts in the programs that is the library files first part second is the entity part and third is the architecture part so library files library files are very much necessary for the program we have to include this library file in the program so you can see here library IEEE use IEEE standard logic 1164.0 so this standard logic 1164.0 uh, all package is the IEEE standard is the IEEE standard for describing the digital logic values in the VHDL language it contains the definition for standard logic single bit and for standard logic vector array. So this is the 1164.all. Then arith.all this is for the arithmetic operation and this uh, use IEEE standard logic unsigned.all. This is actually the library, this library file in extends the standard logic arith library to handle the standard logic vector values as unsigned integers. This library defines all of the same that is arithmetic comparison shift operations as the standard logic earth got it so these are the elaborate files we have to include to use the different packages and functions in our and also digital values digital logic values in VHDL so we have to use these library files and again go to the entity part so entity part is basically your input outputs uh, signals or uh, of your uh, you know program so uh, your digital circuits so in your here you can see in your figure 4 bit ALU there are A and B and select these three are the inputs all three are 4 bit so we have defined here you can see we have defined here A is the in standard logic vector 3 down to 0 3 down to 0 is the first vector so we have 4 bits that's why 0 to 3 that means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why, that's why 3 down to 0. And you vector because it's a bus. It's not a single. We have taken the 4 bit bus. Then B again input signal which is also standard logic vector 3 down to 0. Then OPC here. We have given the name OPC to the select lines. Again this is also 4 bit. That's why 3 down to 0. Then Y is our output which is also 3 down to 0, 4. And here end LUHND. LUHND is the entity name. Therefore end entity name. Now uh, so 
now next is the architecture so we can write the architecture in different modeling style for example behavioral data flow and structural but in this program i'm going to write the program using the behavioral modeling style so what is the syntax of architecture 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 name of entity name is entity name is already given we have already given uh, here l u h n d and architecture name is behavioral is then begin then here you can see i have used the process statement because i'm going to write the program using the behavioral modeling style so in behavioral modeling style uh, you can see we have a process statement in process statement opcab this is the sensitivity list sensitivity list means your inputs that is a b and opc is the your select line so this is the your process statement then begin again this is the syntax of process statement now now you can see case opcs this is the case statement we have is case opcs when 0 0 then assign y is equal to a when 0 0 1 assign y is equal to not of a then when uh, 0 1 0 y is equal to a and b here the logical and operation is there again you can see here when 1 0 0 select line is 1 0 0 assign y is equal to a plus b that means y plus b result Uh, will show at the output for select line 1001 again here we have used case statement therefore end case end if end process and end behavioral so this is very simple uh, code of the alu so that means we have we can do the 16 different operations by using the by selecting the select lines and we have used uh, behavioral modeling style that's why we have used process statement case statement and in case statement again there is a uh, when statement so this is a very simple code of the alu and now we are going to see how to uh, perform or write the vhdl code in the xilinx 14.7 suite so just go to the iic design suite open the software now what is the process the first step is go to the file then go to the file then open new project Uh, give some name for example i'm going to uh, give the name a l u final 4 bit for example this is my uh, name of the file then go, uh, do next then again you can select the family here you can see various families are available for the kids that is i have selected here spartan 3 then device uh, i have selected 3s400 then again preferred language so vhdl or very like so there are two descriptive hardware descriptive language for the uh, vlsi design uh, software that is vhdl and the very log very log is a new version and uh, vhdl is the old one so you can select from here then again next then finish now here your new project is created that is alu final for bit now you can go to uh, uh, alu final for bit again new source so here we have to write the vhdl module so select vhdl module then again name alu final 1 okay next then again here you can now define the module that means how many inputs are there how many outputs are there we have so we have two inputs a b and c three inputs sorry opc that is select line all three are input bit but all are the bus vector so four bit that that's why i have tick here bus again give three down to zero again tick here three down to zero again tick here three down to zero and, and we have one output y so again select here out and tick on that three down to zero this so this is our three input and one output next so you can select uh, you can check here a b o p c y in in out so finish now here you can see your code is uh, generated entity generated actually these are the two library files uh, then here your entity generated a b o p c and y and now we have to write code here after begin so i have already written the code so i just go to my code lu program and just copy from the architecture from the after the begin that means from here process then up to the end process and just copy it go to the simulator and paste it here now again we have to include the library files so go to again the code so this is my code 
go to the library files here so i have to i want this two file just copy it and just paste it in the library section so here you can paste it so these are your four library we have included then this is your entity part and uh, this is your architectural part so go to here save the file then click on your file then go to the design go to the your file then we have to do implementation part so this is your file go to the uh, now go to the synthesis part first check the syntax so click on the syntax your syntax is okay no errors now go to the synthesize now your synthesis is done now view rtl schematic so uh, option uh, choose this option start with a schematic a schematic of the top level block okay then you can see our schematic rtl schematic register transfer level schematic of the four bit le that is inputs and outputs now we have to do the simulation so go to the simulation here for al you click on this again go to simulate behavioral model so here you can see the simulation window open so first of all you can see the see our output is 0 0 all are 0 0 matlab there is, there are no values correct now we have to run for the various operations so first select first select the select line suppose we have selected first 0 0 0 0 okay apply okay then give the value of a and b suppose my value of a is 0 1 0 and my uh, apply okay and my value of uh, input b is 1 0 1 0 apply okay so i have given just a and b values and the opc select line so now here you can see run all and run for the time specified on the toolbar so run for the time specified on the toolbar so you can see here the result for mode 0 0 0 means for select line 0 0 0 what is the operation you can see in the program so for uh, 0 0 0 there is operation is assign y is equal to a so let's check what is the a that is 0 1 0 0 0 so what at output we have got the same means y is equal to a that means we have got the corrected result now mean uh, okay now we are applying next so again force constant suppose we have given the value 0 0 1 we have selected the select line 0 0 1 apply and uh, a and b both are same again run for the specified time so you can see here the result a and b these are the value mode is 0 0 1 means select line is 0 0 1 for for 0 0 1 what is the operation we have For zero zero, we we have operation y is equal to not of a. So you can see not of a. So this is the a. So for zero we have got one. For one we have got zero. For zero we have got one. And for one we also uh, we have got the corrected result. So this is your simulation results for the four bit ALU in the Xilinx fourteen point seven suit. So this is about the simulation part. Again, uh, if you want to see. the vhdl code vhdl test bench so you, you have a again you can go to this file here go to simulation you can uh, create here new source uh, vhdl test select vhdl test bench lu waveform and uh, next 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 finish so you can see you have got the vhdl uh, test bench for the alu so this is your test bench okay so this is how you can uh, write uh, the vhdl code in xilinx 14.7 and simulate and synthesis so this is all about the four bit alu simulation and synthesis in xilinx software 14.7 thank you so much